Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. What's going on in southern New Mexico is helping keep U.S. forces across the world safe. Holloman Air Force Base is now the primary training base for some of the newest aircraft in the military. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart got a first-hand look at what goes into flying these remotely piloted aircraft. The MQ-1 Predator and MQ-9 Reaper at Holloman Air Force Base represent advances in technology and one of the newest career fields in the Air Force. The pilot, nowhere near the aircraft. My unmanned aircraft can go places to where a manned aircraft could not go, uh, maybe because it's too dangerous or whatnot. You know, there's uh, a less risk, if you will. Liftoff of the remotely piloted aircraft, or RPA, happens with the pilot on the ground. And with a flight time of 15 to 20 hours, these two RPAs can fly halfway around the world. They offer airborne surveillance, reconnaissance, and weapons. Many RPA pilots say one of the biggest challenges is not having all of your senses, hearing the sounds, feeling the bumps as you fly. They say it's a totally visual experience. Because you don't have the sensation of the aircraft under you, uh, so it's difficult to tell exactly what the aircraft is doing. You have to rely on your, on your instruments. Instead, those senses are read on a two-dimensional computer screen by a sensor operator. This person monitors equipment and calls out speeds and height to the pilot. We don't have the physical or the visual sensation as uh, being inside of a glass cockpit, being able to look out, but the internal sensation is there. Hands-on simulated missions prepare officers for real combat and force them to make tough decisions. What we try to do is make this as realistic scenarios for our guys that are flying these airplanes as possible. The benefits, they can switch out pilots every two hours, and all of the pilots remain far from harm's way. I definitely feel physically safer. Um, I'm nowhere, I'm here in the United States uh, controlling my plane that is elsewhere. Gabrielle Burkhart, KRQE News 13. Currently, Holloman is training hundreds in its RPA program. Officials say they help reduce the unknowns of war, but they don't see them completely replacing manned aircraft.